what's going on guys welcome back to my new vlog um how's it going <laughs> so today's videos i'm gonna go turn up my girlfriend's car like what i say i'm gonna do the ignition and stuff like that blah 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 and it's actually kind of windy still still kind of windy but not that bad like yesterday so it's a good time to make videos um but before i start the video i just want to say thank you guys for supporting me Thank you guys for staying, watching my videos. And yes, thank you guys so much. Please, if you guys have time, share the video and smash that, hey, smash that subscribe button, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And right now I'm just gonna go drop off some oils, like the used oil, and I'm gonna get some oils. My old child that used to work. And yep, come back home and do the car. So, see you guys in a bit. What's going on guys? Sorry about that. Um, I picked up the oil. My dad told me to do some errands. We went to KFC and stuff like that. I ate lunch. Um, right now, I'm going to do the car. So I'm just going to replace the spark plugs. Because they just replaced the spark plug wires. And distributor. So I think that's so good for me. That's money. So yeah. Right now I'm just going to change the spark plug wires. I mean spark plugs. And yep, let's see if this one's gonna get fit. Oh, yes, there you go, fits. So, the spark plugs that I set up the car is gonna be this size, it's gonna be five eighths. So, yeah. As you guys can see, the spark plug itself, it's OEM, so they haven't replaced them because it's been 200,000 miles, but they never replaced the spark plugs. See how bad they are right now? They're really dry. So yeah. And then the third one's not even tight, so that's why I think it's just, you know, having a bad fuel mileage. How do I know it's still OEM, they haven't replaced the spark plugs? Because most of the people right now, they don't use the twin electrode. People are not that smart to, you know, just, oh, well, it's a twin electrode. So it's just replaced with the, it's just replaced with the one ground electrode. So yeah, they don't really like care about like if you have twin or no. Spark plugs, spark plugs, that's what they think. So yeah, I'm gonna replace them right now with the new one. You always you always gonna start tightening with your hand first, and never ever gonna use the gun. That's a big no no. Well, I'm lazy to you know remove any. I use the gun. It's a big no no. So just hand tight. And after that. Have to start the car. Damn. Damn. Now you idle idles really good. Cause back then it was just idle it back and forth, down and down. So and now it's just stabilized or stable. 
So I researched and they said for like shaking steering wheels, stuff like that. They said if you have put it in park or neutral, the car doesn't shake, but if you put it in reverse or drive, the steering wheel start to shake and the car starts to shake. They said that if they, they replace the motor mounts or everything, they replace everything. But they still have the shaking thingy. So they said is to clean the mass airflow sensor and the throttle body. That's what they said. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna clean it and we'll see from there. So if you're gonna clean it, you have to remove this bolt right here, 10. There's another one over there. Well, you can't really just remove the hose here, just remove it. And you're using this one, just a 10, it's a 10. And pretty much another 10 over here. And pretty much that'll be it. And then after that, just clean the air, airflow sensor and the throttle body. And we'll see from there if they can fix the shaking problem. So, yep. So I just I just cleaned the mass airflow sensor. As you guys can see over here, right there. So you guys check the the throttle body. It's really filthy. See that? Damn, that's a lot of dirty, dirty stuff inside of that. So right now I'm just gonna clean it. And from there, we we'll start the car and see if it changes. I just clean it like the best as I can see it's trying to clean them so after that I just have to check you know if it's gonna work or not so right now since I did the mass as I flow and the throttle body cleaning might as well just do the intake valve I'm gonna use this one so basically basically you're gonna do you're just gonna Warm up the engine, and after you warm up the engine, you're just gonna spray that through. Oh shit. You're gonna spray that to the throttle body, but you can use it to the vacuum line for the manifold, but it's easier for me to just spray the throttle body. So, spray it, and then just dump on the gas pedal for 2000 RPM. And after that, just stay for like one minute or two minutes. And after that, drive the car for 10 minutes then do the high rate speed so it will clean up the the how do you say the carbon on the intake valve so yeah my little torch is doing right now so we're just gonna move this one again the hose And be careful, don't spray it by the the idle control valve, or I mean idle control sensor or something like that. It's down over there by throttle body, you never ever gonna spray over there. Whatever you spray over there, it's not gonna come back. So just open this and spray it. Start the car. Start the car, I'll just maintain the starts on 2000 RPM. As you guys can see, there's gonna be like smoke. I think smoke coming out from the exhaust pipe. So right now, we're just gonna idle. Well, I've been already idle for like one to two minutes. So we're just gonna let the, you know, shut down the car and then just sit for an hour. And after that, I have to drive it at highway speed. And probably after that, just boom, that's it. Pretty much already cleaned the intake valve, everything cold side, math, total body, the valves. So hopefully this car will not run shitty. Hopefully. So I finished driving the car for a good 15 or 20 minutes, but it says 10 minutes for hybrid speed um i finished it it runs really smooth i like it a little bit of you know improvement but yeah i just have to do more job i still need to do some steering suspension for that car it's already tires i got a bunch of shit in the car so it's okay it's for her um thank you guys for watching my video thank you guys for staying and watching until the end of the video i appreciate that please help me if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. 
please. And don't forget to go to my um, follow Don Should Be Humble, order some stickers. It will help me a lot too. So if you guys want to see how Lucilla's car is going to turn into a nice car when she comes back. So please help me and I'll help her. So yes, thank you guys for watching. And yep, see you guys in the next my see you guys on my next video. Work hard and be humble.